Welcome back to the Business Hour here on KRDO News Radio, sponsored by Doherty Law Firm and Pikes Peak National Bank. I'm Ted Robertson in studio now with our panel of experts, including Agtha Marcoulier from the Small Business Development Center, Corey Arcaris, also with the Small Business Development Center and a consultant, Anthony Perez with the Hispanic Business Council, and Rodney Gallette with the Black Chamber. This is the Business Hour here on KRDO News Radio that you're listening to. And it's time for the Pikes Peak SmallBiz.com Small Business Question of the Week. But before we do that, real quick, if you have not seen the Analogy of Business video series starring Matt Barrett, the analogist, and he comes from Business Truth Consulting, check them out at PikesPeakSmallBiz.com, The Business Hour, or on our Facebook page, The Business Hour. Or look up Matt Barrett on LinkedIn to see those videos there. They're really fun to watch because you never know where Matt's going to be when he shoots one of those videos. So one time he was on a mountain, the next day he's in a traffic circle, the next day he's on a beach, but he always has something very special to offer to you and for your business. Now, um, the Pikes Peak Small Biz dot com small business question of the week posed by a business owner who is a little shy about um, coming out into the community because this particular business owner has said that they haven't registered they don't have a corporate structure they've got no insurance they're not licensed and they're really really needing some help with all that stuff but they are they confessed afraid to come out and talk to a chamber of commerce or the business council or the black chamber or the SBDC mm-hmm. or any of those things because they think that without those things all being in a nice neat bucket that they're not qualified to join you uh, let's bust a myth here guys who wants to start anthony you want to start first uh, yeah he does <laughs> go anthony <laughs> do it <laughs> well i think we we, we kind of broke ground during the break that um i i've seen that there's a lot of folks that are they're doing what they can You know, they're a small business, they're using their trade, um, they're making a living, they're supporting their family, and sometimes people feel that it's too much work, it's too complicated. I think the word intimidation is key, whether it's joining a group, an organization, or just going to a website, that that people chalk it up that it's too complicated. Um, I don't have time. And that's not the case. One, it's about, Understand it's about protecting your business. At the end of the day, something happens, you want to know that your business is protected, which means your family is protected. Well, and that's a good point, Anthony, because our attorney, who is the sponsor of the program, Terry Doherty, is all about keeping your personal assets protected and keeping your business protected, which means insurance. It means the proper corporate structure. And Terry Doherty will do that. That's one place you can go. Of course, we can also go to the Hispanic Business Council, SBDC, Black Chamber. Uh, there are lots of places to go. So there's no reason to be shy, no reason to stay hidden. You need to be out in the community, and like you say, Anthony, you got to be doing it right. Absolutely. I, I think it's a case of, you know, uh, when I do trainings with people, a lot of times I share concepts, and people go, I already know that, I already do that. What I find is a lot of times people say that, I know that, I do that. They, they don't. They're not. And, and, you know, a lot of small businesses are just trying to make it paycheck to paycheck, yeah. month to month, and trying to keep afloat. And sometimes those things seem so overwhelming unless they have somebody like the M- M- MBO or SBDC or someone in a chamber that goes, listen, no, sit down, man. It takes you five minutes to get registered with the state. Yeah. It takes you 10 minutes. Go to one workshop in an hour and, and, and at least you'll have a better understanding of how to move forward and you'll have confidence. If you're worried about insurance, don't be silly. It'll cost you a lot more to screw up than it will <laughs> yeah, pay right. an insurance premium. Rodney, step on up here and let's have your two cents on this. Okay. So. Um, For all the folks that are starting businesses or just started a business, um, you gotta not be afraid anymore. You can't be afraid. You are stepping out on a limb. Everybody else who's in business, whether they are a one-person shop or they're a Walmart, had to step out on that limb at one time. And I tell you what, even folks like Walmart, Amazon, big companies, they have mistakes. They're still learning from their mistakes. But you you can't learn if you don't ask. So if you happen to approach a chamber of commerce and you don't have all your ducks in a row, and they make you feel bad about it, that's not the chamber you need to be a part of. Mm -hmm. But I would suggest you contact the SBDC, or the Hispanic Chamber, or the Lotus Foundation, or the Colorado Springs Black Chamber of Commerce, and talk to us, because we will help guide you through the process. Like my friend Anthony said, it's an easy process. It takes a few minutes to set up the right stuff. Um, The insurance is important. You want to protect yourself. You want to, as a cybersecurity engineer, you want to protect yourself on that point too. So um, they have special insurance for those things, and um, you, you want to be safe. Don't be afraid. 
Don't be afraid to ask the question. We're Brilliant. here to help Thank you. you. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Corey? Um, I want to speak to the people out there that are maybe doing work um, in the evenings or on weekends. They have a full-time job, but they're still doing additional work in order to supplement income, or those folks that maybe have been laid off and have um, decided that they're going to just do some work and get paid for the work. Those are the folks I'd like to speak to and address to. Come see us at the SBDC because you need protection as well. You need to understand that doing business as a sole proprietor puts you at some risk. And so come in, let us explain how the legal structures work. Even if you do have a full-time job and are making money on the weekends or with the hobby or trying to launch a business as to grow it as you work full-time. So it's those full-time entrepreneurs that, that I want to reach out to. Those are the folks that I find many times are not seeking help because they really don't know how far they're going to go with this or if this is temporary or not. And oftentimes it's not or sometimes it grows and then they really need some assistance. So I invite all those people to give us a call or approach Concilio or approach the Black Chamber for, for some help because it may only be needed short term, but the education and, and information you receive will be long term. I think we are an extraordinarily fortunate community in that mm -hmm. we have an extraordinarily supportive group of chambers, mm -hmm. uh, starting with the Black Chamber, the Concilio, the SBDC, the Colorado Springs Chamber. They are all ready, willing, and able to talk to you and bring you into the fold. Don't stay in the shadows. Aikva, final thoughts on this question of the week. Final thoughts, you know, last year alone we helped 138 small businesses start. That's a huge number of small businesses that were in the startup sector of what we do. I'll tell you what, most of those businesses didn't have a clue. And it is okay to walk into our office and walk into a chamber's door, call them, and say, listen, I have this awesome idea, I don't know where to start. And guess what, we're here to help you. So don't be afraid, don't be intimidated, find that chamber that's right for you. Find that mentor that's right for you. And the SBDC, if you don't even know where to start, we can show you where to start. Well, and another one of our partners, of course, is the Better Business Bureau, who can offer some services along these lines as well. Absolutely. So don't Huge forget. Partner of ours. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. uh, you want the news? Get the Business Journal. You want the scoop? Get the SBDC going. And earn trust right. in the community. It's the BBB. I mean, we are all here together to help you with anything you need. That's it. That's mm -hmm. the good stuff. Okay. So here's what we've got, Aikha. We've got about three minutes left, and um, we should open it up and uh, to, to the panel here, and let's talk about, yes, let's talk about sponsorship opportunities for Small Business Week, but there are also nominations are open as well, right? Absolutely. So very importantly, nominations for Small Business Week Awards uh, ends on March 19th. And this is Small Business Week. I know all of you listening know about it. It is the biggest small business event or week of events in the state of Colorado, to be honest with you. It is huge. And we award Veteran Entrepreneur of the Year, Small Business Person of the Year, Small Business Champion of the Year, uh, Family Owned Business of the Year, and Young Entrepreneur of the Year. There's five big awards that we uh, award locally and we funnel up for you to the state level when our state runs those awards as well. So Small Business Person is an every year type of thing. This is year number five. This is year number five. Again, nominations are open at Pikes Peak, uh, Pikes Peak SBDC org backslash Small Business Week. That is where you go to nominate. Additionally, throughout the week, if you are a small business supporter, please support our event with sponsorship and sponsorships start at the small business supporting level at $250. So it's really easy to sponsor for any size business. Sponsorships do go up to 3,000. We have a lot of media, including KRDO as our TV media sponsor. So we thank you so much. We are honored and humbled by that. Aikha, thank you. Thank Gina also for the privilege of doing that. So not only is this year number five for Small Business Week, but it gets more fun. You're kicking it off this year for the second year in a row with a food truck cook-off. Oh my gosh, so Only much fun. this time you're yes. going to have some a beer garden or something along those lines. Well, yeah. we're hoping. So we're working through a special <clears throat> events license. So before we actually say it's going to be there, we're going to work through that detail. Um, but it is at North Penrose. It's on a Sunday, so you can bring your family this time. It's extended time. The times are posted on our website. Um, and there will be 10 to 12 food trucks again. We'll have a People's Choice Award and a Judge's Award. 
and it is just a lot of fun. 300 people show, showed up last year. We sold out. We had to turn people away. So get your tickets early. It's $15. Oh, what a wonderful thing. And businesses can nominate themselves if you don't mind me throwing it in there. It's no, okay to nominate I, yourself. I don't mind you throwing okay. that in at all. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for joining us for this very special edition of the Business Hour uh, featuring Corey Arcaris, Anthony Perez, Rodney Goulet. Uh, wonderful folks. I, I'm hoping to have you guys back more and talk more and more about what you guys are all doing in the community. I think it's wonderful stuff. And so that is it for today's edition of the Business Hour sponsored by Doherty Law Firm and Pikes Peak National Bank. We'll be back next week, Saturday at 1, when the Business Hour features the Colorado Springs Business Journal. In the meantime, stay tuned for more great programming you can only find right here on KRDO News Radio 105.5 FM, 1240 AM. And now more ways to listen, broadcasting on 92.5 FM. Have a wonderful, great rest of the weekend. Good Boom. Outstanding.